Alright, in this video we're going to see how to do a hand-drawn empirical rule graph. Um, this is probably the most useful way to do it because by hand-drawing it you really get a feel for what's going on with the distribution of the population and also how to quickly and easily recreate these things. Um, so the way to start this off is to put in a nice line and so I put a nice horizontal line here at the bottom All right. and then we want to put the curve on top of that. Start off really close but not touching it on the left and then we go up, sort of concave up and then you get to the peak in the middle and a nice rounded top and then it's concave down and then it switches concavity and goes concave up again. And then it should be pretty much symmetric so if you went too far we can get rid of that. <laughs> Alright, now we will go ahead and draw some lines and we can draw a nice line in the middle and that's going to be your mean. So um, we'll do an example where the mean is 23, so 23 would go there and uh, we'll do standard deviation of 5 these numbers are given to you in the problem, so just use whatever you have there. Now we like to do is show that by this general picture, going off three standard deviations in either direction gets you to the end of the graph. That's where most everybody is, within three standard deviations. So um, we're going to draw three evenly spaced lines that should get us to the end there. So how about one here? And these should be as vertical as you can. I have a hard time with that. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe we can do better. Maybe we'll start the last one off right here, because that's where we want it. And then there. And then there. Those aren't really evenly spaced. Should be evenly spaced. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So if you have a ruler, you're doing this by hand, you can get a ruler out and you can really do this right. There we go. Alright. So even horizontal distance between these vertical lines. Now we're going to go ahead and label the um, horizontal axis. And we use the standard deviation to advance to the right by adding it. So from 23 to the next line is adding 5, we'd get 28. And adding 5 again, we would get 33. And adding 5 again, we would get 38. Going to the left, we would subtract 5. Subtracting 5 from 23, we get 18. And subtracting 5 again, we get 13. And subtracting 5 again, we get 8. Right, now I want to go ahead and put in some information about the percentages. So remember that the empirical rule tells you that 68% of the individuals are between one standard deviation in each direction. All right, within one standard deviation you have about two-thirds. It also tells you that 95% are within two standard deviations. Okay. It's got a little messy there. can make 
this. And last, we have 99.7% are within three standard deviations. And that's the empirical rule. So uh, used to symmetry, you can actually label individual pieces, 34% uh, for those two middle pieces each, 13.5 um, for the others, and the second uh, one, one step out, and then uh, it is 2.35%, uh, I think, in the last ones, and then um, 0.015% um, percent in the very far tails. So you could go in and label things like that. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. And then that's 2.35%. And then the far tail is just 0 0.15%. And you get the same on the other side because of the symmetry. Uh, you want to label the horizontal axis for this. So, um, you know, say we were looking at uh, we're looking at uh, average temperature or something. Then this would be temperature. So maybe the average temperature was 23 degrees. And then you want to put units there, so maybe degrees Celsius or something. And then maybe a title for the graph, um, so temperature of something or other. All right, and there's a nice hand-drawn empirical rule graph, and you can uh, easily figure out questions like, well, 68% are between 18 and 28, or um, how many are above 33? Oh, well, that's 2.35 and 0.15, that's 2.5% things like that. So you can answer all kinds of questions here on out using that graph. And it's important to be able to get a quick sketch.